Hi, my name is Jette, that is J-E-T-T-E, and in today's video I will be trying to paint on sourdough bread. I'm an artist, so usually in the series I'm trying art techniques, but recently there is a video going viral on Instagram where someone is making art on sourdough bread, and I am not only a hobby artist, I'm also a hobby baker. I never really left the sourdough baking phase after lockdown. I'm still baking sourdough bread like two years later. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So no wonder why everyone is sending me this video. The things you guys want me to try seemingly get harder every time. And I'm very curious myself to see if I can actually make this work. I'm not that confident in my sourdough baking abilities. There have been fails. I have been baking for like two years and it's very hit or miss. So sometimes my bread turns out great and other times it's just flat and something happened to it and I don't know what. So if you're a professional baker, maybe like don't watch this <laughs> because I'm probably going to make you very angry. <laughs> So in order to paint on sourdough, we first have to make the sourdough, which is what I will be doing today. It's around about a 24 hour process. So before we get to painting, we have to get to baking. I have all my sourdough baking ingredients here and I'm just gonna follow you through the recipe, which by the way, I also found on YouTube. So I am going to be linking all the recipes that I'm following down below. The whole sourdough baking is literally a science. There is no other word to describe it. It's just science. So without further ado, here's my recipe. I'm starting with a bowl, a scale and some bread flour. This is wheat flour and I'm going to be using one kilogram of flour. And basically it is suggested that you use percentages. So this recipe has a 75% hydration level, which means that you are adding 750 milliliters of water. And using a wooden spoon, I'm just gonna combine this quickly. It doesn't have to be a smooth dough at this point. I'm just gonna let this sit for 30 minutes to an hour. This is called auto lose. And look what it does with the texture of the dough with the gluten, which is a protein. And I'm basically spending my whole day building dough strength and sort of training the gluten in my dough. Now I'm adding 20 grams of salt and just gonna give that a little stir and then I'm gonna go in with my starter, which I'm using when it has risen and then it's beginning to fall. That's kind of the perfect time to use it. And that is another 150 grams of sourdough starter. And you're just gonna mix that in the dough at this point. And because of the different color of my flour, I can see when it's well combined. So this is kind of the main component of your sourdough bread. And now I'm going to be doing timed stretches with rests in between. I told you, it is complicated. That basically means that you are going to stretch the dough from one side, kind of flip it over and turn the bowl kind of like 90 degrees every time. You don't want your dough to rip, you still need to stretch it. So kind of like what I'm doing here. After your stretches, your dough is resting. I'm using 15 minute intervals first and then followed by three 30 minute intervals. So basically you are repeating the process over and over while the dough is resting in between. And that is the most like time consuming part of the sourdough. And you can kind of see how stretchier the dough becomes over time. So the more I'm like stretching the gluten, the better the dough strength later. Ideally, your dough is resting in like a 25 degrees environment. It's winter now, so it's like 15 degrees in my kitchen. <laughs> yeah, I know. So I'm putting the dough in the oven in between and it's now resting for eight hours. Sometimes I put the heat on of my oven, kind of measure the temperature. So I'm creating a little bit more of a warm environment for it to rise, though not too warm because otherwise your bacteria dies. And after that main rise, your dough is going to be doubled in size, ideally. My dough, unfortunately, wasn't on the strong side. <laughs> Maybe because I used more water than I should have, or I just did a bad job at 
stretching or it could be the starter so many different reasons but i'm basically shaping the dough into two like oval shaped loaves and putting them into these little baskets that i floured so the dough doesn't stick and then these go into your fridge for another 12 hour fermentation so they are resting ideally overnight in your fridge until i'm baking them the next morning Okay, so it's pretty much a full 24 hours later and before getting my bread out of the fridge and into the oven, I'm going to be mixing the paint. So I'm just thinking of mixing flour and water in here and then adding the food coloring after. I do want to have like very like pastel sort of like soft colors. No idea how much to add, like what the ratio would be so i'm just eyeballing it and i'm just gonna mix that until it's smooth like i have an idea what i'm doing here i don't i also asked you on instagram what i should paint on there so like i could do flowers like in my inspo pig or i could do like different things like basically anything's possible right and i honestly shouldn't be surprised that most of you suggested i paint starry night by vincent van gogh every time <laughs> i'm letting you guys decide what to paint you always want me to paint starry night but some others also suggested like flowers or plants kind of like in the inspo pick so i'm thinking of doing one simple option to start with also to kind of like test out whether this actually works and if the first loaf turns out good i can do starry night on the second one and now i'm gonna add some blue green i mean <laughs> I swear I know the difference. And for the other color, I'm thinking like a, like sort of like a pink, rose, sort of like purple look. Looks good to me. Okay, here's my bread. I'm using a little bit of parchment paper to kind of like turn the loaf onto my surface. So once I'm lifting it, if I did a really bad job, it's gonna like flow everywhere. So to prevent that, I'm thinking of putting it back like into the basket, putting it back in there. So hopefully this is gonna like give me some time to paint everything. The color payoff was surprisingly well. Uh, so it was quite opaque and I just did little flowers in blue and then added some pink later, sort of like as the petals and then did some green details for the stems of the flowers and just some extra decoration. And I think it turned out pretty cute. Like I really like how it looks. Did some more roses, you know, like here and there kind of like going with the flow. So I'm yeah, pretty happy with how that worked considering I'm literally painting with dough. So I feel like dotting is definitely the easiest like painting technique here. So I think this is as much as I can do. I'm gonna score the bread, which is like using a scalpel, you kind of like cut into it so it springs better. So let's get back to the kitchen. Here you can see me score the bread, which I think I did a pretty good job at, at least for my standards. I'm baking the dough inside like some sort of pot because it gets hotter. And here you can kind of see <laughs> that it's already starting to lose shape. Putting that in the oven at 250 degrees for 20 minutes. Now I have to wait for full on 20 minutes. I'm scared. This could go both ways could be a total disaster. We'll see. Moment of truth, guys. I was quite impressed, I have to say, but you are going to put the bread in for another 20 minutes for about 220 degrees Celsius without the lid on. And then this is how the bread looked after. Okay. For a first try, it's not that bad, although you cannot really see that much. <laughs> Because also the crust is just getting like more of a brown golden tone when baking, that just changes. I am, however, really happy with my scoring because I'm really bad at it. So this is like, this went surprisingly well. So some of the design is now down here and the rest is like on this side. I think it's cute. What do you think? I am, however, going to give it a second try. Attempt number two, I am going to be trying to paint The Starry Night by Vincent van Gogh on my bread because that is what you guys are voting for on my Instagram. 
if you want to in the future participate in these like surveys my Instagram is just Yetta, like my name. Happy to have you on there. I just mixed in some blue paint into all of the other colors that I had from before. And I'm just going to be using the smallest paintbrush, which is just what worked best last time. And I'm gonna start painting now with one color and then with the next one and so on, kind of working from dark to light. So let's go. In my opinion, I did a really good job at painting Starry Night on my bread. Because, you know, like, I'm painting with dough, so it's, it, it is gonna be more difficult than with acrylics. I have painted this art piece numerous times before, so I am, I am an experienced Starry Night painter. Kind of started off with the darkest shades and then sort of like working lighter and lighter every time. Later on, also some yellows and greens. And this is how my bread looks like prior to baking. The after is a different story. <laughs> You'll see what I mean. Guys, this is the best I could do, okay? <laughs> it's not a masterpiece. I'm still painting with dough, so... We will also see how the coloring is changing when baking, which I'm kind of like scared to see and sort of interested to see as well. So in about 20 minutes, we should be able to see the result. Same process, just to put the bread into the pot. I did kind of screw this one up because the scoring, extremely difficult with like the thick layer of paint on there. I also should have done that before putting it into the pot. So yeah, I'm making all these mistakes so you don't have to. You're welcome. Putting that into the oven for 20 minutes. This was after, you can tell I did a really bad job at scoring. What is that? <laughs> what happened there? <laughs> Back in the oven for another 20 minutes at 220. And this is what it looked like. Definitely not what I had in mind, but yeah considering it's painted with dough and probably not the most ideal food paints, I'd say it's fine. Could it be better? Yes. For a first try, it's okay. Like, I don't know what happened here. I, you guys, <laughs> what is this? No, I know what happened. I did a really bad job at the scoring. <laughs> Please ignore it. Also the design, I mean, did it look better before baking? Yes, but I think this is like a technique that doesn't look better after baking. I mean, it's good. A little bit more bread ASMR for you. At least it's yummy. I guess the point of it is just having fun with it, which I did. When trying something the first time, you always like have to expect to be bad at it. So the more I'm like doing this, hopefully the better the results. So if there are any other like sourdough decorating techniques that you would like me to try, please leave your suggestions in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up for the effort. <laughs> See you in the next one. Until then, stay creative.